everybody this stream and we have a five game NBA slate today uh starts at six Eastern. We have five games. My picks for these games are Brooklyn over Oklahoma City, Sacramento over the Spurs, Denver over Orlando, Portland over Dallas, uh Philly over LA Lakers. Now the Portland Dallas game is contingent on uh, uh Donkic playing, but he's currently questionable. Let's go and get into the injury report today. Uh we have a sp sizable injury report for the size of the slate. I think most teams have at least somebody out or questionable. So let's go and get into that. Uh the Thunder, Pokoveski is out, JRE is out for the Nets, Durant is out for the Kings, Huter is questionable for the Spurs, Vassal is out, and McDermott is questionable for the Magic, Okiki is out, and Harris is questionable. For the Mavs, Donkey, Hardaway Jr. and Wood are all questionable. DFS is doubtful and Kleber is out. Obviously, if those three guys are ruled out, that would definitely change uh, our fantasy dynamics today. Uh, for the Trailblazers, uh, Winslow is out. For the 76ers, Harris is out. For the Lakers, Beverly is questionable. Davis, Welker, and Reeves is out. Um, so with that said, we have a pretty interesting little slate here. Um, right now, it obviously looks like the Nets are going to be one of the better teams to focus on. Um, simply because they have a lot of guys uh, that are pretty much the same price they were the other day, um, which is a little bit unusual, but, uh, you know, we're going to ride with it, obviously. So uh, for um, my top plays today, we have uh, Royce O'Neal for Brooklyn, obviously. Uh, he's played pretty well uh, last game with uh, Durant out, and his minutes have uh, been steady over 30 or so. His price is still too cheap, even if Durant was playing. He's been he's been having over 25 fantasy points quite a few games in a row, with one exception. But now with Durant out, it's almost a guarantee at this point, I think. He's one of my favorite plays on the slate at his price. Um, obviously, it's contingent on him uh, you know, being potentially a starter. Uh, Joe Harris also, uh, he should actually start um, today, but I would say that the Nets are probably going to... You know, choose between him and Seth Curry. So if Curry ends up starting, then I would actually choose him over Harris. But right now, if Harris does start, then he's a good play on the slate. He's just way too cheap for his potential. Uh, then we're going to look at Kyrie, um, who he didn't really play all that great in his last game with against Boston. But Boston's usually a tougher defensive opponent. Um, I kind of expect him to have a bigger game here against a fast-paced opponent and a team that doesn't play as much defense as... Uh, as uh, the last couple teams he's played. Uh, then we'll look at Jamal Murray. Uh, now, I really like Murray. He is probable today, uh, so just keep that in mind. But he's played really good lately, um, and his uh, upside is very high for his price. Uh, typically, his price gets a little bit higher than this uh, throughout the season, but it's stayed steady around 7000 bucks, And so I think he's viable on the slate, though he is probable, so make sure to check that he is end up playing. Um, then we'll look at Ben Simmons, who... Has to be the most ridiculous player in fantasy. Obviously, his price has popped up a little bit, um, but he's still viable here with uh, with Durant out. And he may not score any actual regular points, but he might get a double double in assists and rebounds like he did in the early last game. And he also gets you know some peripheral steals and blocks. So he has some nice advantages today. He's not a must play because his price has come up, but he's still viable on the slate in general. Um, then we'll look at Jalen Williams. Now, this is J-L-E-N for Oklahoma City. Assuming he starts, which I think he will. Uh, he has some upside here at his price. He's played really good lately. And while his price has uh, been a little bit in flux, he hasn't had any terrible games. Uh, he's not necessarily a 5X automatic, but he has some good upside. And he's been playing really well. So I'm, I like him in this uh, positive matchup for himself. Uh, especially if he ends up starting, uh, obviously. Lou Dort also looks interesting today against Brooklyn. Um, his price is a little bit under what I expected it to be. Uh, he's not a must-play, but he is somebody to consider because he does have 30 fantasy point upside in this matchup. Uh, then we'll look at Jeremy Sokrin, uh for uh, the Spurs. Uh, his minutes have increased a little bit lately, but his production has been up and down. Uh, but he has some upside at this price, and he's a little bit cheaper than he was, which I guess is due to his inconsistent play but he does have upside in this matchup especially if a couple more guys get ruled out uh, then we'll look at center here and we're going to look at nicholas claxton um, he's been playing extremely well for brooklyn lately he's one of the best players our hardest working players on the team he's been playing well his price is right where we want it to be for to, to utilize him because he does have 40 to 45 point upside 
especially in a nice plus matchup against a team that doesn't really have any centers that can stop him. And then uh, Juice of Nurkic, he is inconsistent throughout the season, but he has been really good the last few games, and his price has come up some as a result, but he's still viable here. He has 50-point upside in this matchup against Dallas, especially if Dallas has got a lot of guys out. Now, obviously, if Dallas has a lot of players out, uh, which we don't know yet, we'll know closer to Slate, uh, that would open up Dinwiddie and pot- potentially Powell and even some other options on the team. So with that said, guys, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. And have a nice day, guys.